Okay guys, welcome back to this old meat shop and I've been busy in here. Got the old table tore down. Got this area cleaned out pretty decent and uh, got me a big mixing bowl for my concrete. And I thought about putting in a uh, natural gas tankless water heater but for the size I would need it's going to be just way too expensive, it's about $1,200 because we use some very hot water in here when we're washing down. So uh, we'll stay with the water heater. We kill a big old black wood right here. It was right on top of this water heater when I pulled that top up. Basically you can see we got thin copper lines with flared ends attaching everything. I don't take like them but they ain't froze so I don't really see no reason to change them out. Next when I change out this water heater probably go with PEX next time. So anyway guys I've already got my measurement 51 inches and the two six inch ends on it and uh, so I'm gonna fix I'll, so I'm fixing to cut this uh, form out and I'll show you what it looks like when we get it set in. Well guys, there it is. Two bags wasn't quite enough. I needed three or maybe four to get all the way down here. But what I want to do, I think that's going to be plenty. Uh, got this filled up good. That was the main part. Made a little bit soupy that second bag. When this stuff dries, I'll just scrape it up and get it off the floor. But a <clears throat> bit of a mess. I didn't, really, I didn't remember how nasty fooling with concrete was. I got it all over my good pants too. So, that's the fast setting kind, quick reek fast set. So hopefully by tomorrow it'll be set and get these forms up. Start cleaning these walls off. All this shelving down, this cabinet, and I'm going to start priming. Prime all the way from there all the way. All the way. Well I already primed that so the doors to there. So that's what I'm gonna do this weekend. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow anyway, so get it primed and Sunday uh get it painted uh the beige and uh hopefully Monday we can finish up. I don't know about the ceilings yet. This part of the ceiling looks good, but I'm worried about that. I don't know if that's going to prime or not, so we'll wait and see. I went to put my uh, grinder tray on, and that uh, powder coat has got in my threads, so I'm going to have to get my tap kit down here to uh, re-tap them threads. I couldn't get my little bolts to go, so that's what I'm waiting on there. And as soon as I get it set up, I get my power strung back up and uh, get this saw moved out of the way back up over here before we can hit this door and uh yeah it's coming along sure slowly but surely is you can see i did have some termite damage on this back uh support here and also over here it wasn't too bad but it was getting pretty rotted uh, Beetles have got into it and everything else. It's been up there forever. So, uh, yep, we'll get all cleaned up and these old uh, big cracks foamed and sealed. We'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. I don't shoot no video of painting because nobody wants to see that. I don't even want to see that, but I'll show you what it looks like when we get done with it. Thanks for watching.